Are you ready to meet Krabby the Clown? Yeah! All right, here you go! Hey, kids! Uh, thank you all for coming! Thank you! Eat plenty of Krabby Patties! <laughs> Hello guys, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have a crazy current events video for you guys. A video of just me reacting to this ridiculous um, uh, scam that is going around the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory scam. You're probably reading the title of this video and you're probably thinking, what? What? This is real? Yeah, this is, this is real. But these are basically a series of videos in which I react to ridiculous things that are going around. And also, you know, I have a whole series in which I piss off scammers. I haven't had a, um, a scammer to call recently, but eventually I will call up more scammers and piss them off. So if you do want to watch, you know, videos of just me pissing off scammers, I will have a, um, a playlist at the end of, of this video. Uh, but this is, you know, ridiculous scam that just went on, and I still can't believe that this is real. But before we start off this video here, I want to thank my friends at Ewin for actually sending me over this awesome gaming chair here. Um, this uh, this chair, I will be doing a full review on this chair in a um, in a couple days. So a couple days, I'll have a, a, a great review on this chair. But it's a very very um, strong chair. It can hold up to 550 pounds. Great material. Very comfy. Very adjustable. But I will have a really um, a really detailed review on this. Just give me a couple days. Um, and I also have a link down below. So if you guys actually want to buy one of these chairs, there's a link below. And use my code TP to get an extra 20% off. So thank you, guys. Um, anyways, let's start the video here. But anyways, here, um, we're talking about this Willy Wonka scam. And I want to thank um, one of my subscribers um, that actually posted on my Ace Attorney video to tell me about this. And I was basically thinking, like, what? <laughs> when, when one of my subscribers was telling me about this. Um, but anyways, um, you read the title correctly. There, This scam, this happened in Scotland, in Glasgow. And uh, this was a fake, you know, Willy Wonka factory or, you know, an attempt at a Willy Wonka factory. But it was basically a giant ripoff. And this is something that people are going to basically be memeing about even years from now. Years from now people are going to be talking about this as well. But anyways, and this is from CNN, a Willy Wonka-inspired experience sparks outrage and online mockery after police called to event. Um, families attending a Willy Wonka-inspired event in Glasgow, Scotland, were promised optical marvels and extraordinary props for a $35 pounds or $44 ticket. But when they arrived, they found a sparsely decorated warehouse and offered a quarter cup of lemonade or lime, uh, limonade when supplies ran out. Ooh. Yeah, and this is, this is, you know, this is basically double what you're paying for a movie theater ticket. Um, and, uh, and about the lemonade is the kids were actually given a, a quarter of a cup of lemonade and one or two jelly beans. That's it. You'd, you'd think that if kids are going to some chocolate factory, you'd think you'd actually give them what they came for for chocolate. But instead, kids got that. Uh, people then became so angry on Saturday that the police were called. Police Sc um, uh, Scotland confirmed to CNN uh, the event was canceled and the story went viral on social media. There's a crowd of people outside, all furious. Paul Cannell, one of the actors hired to perform at the event, told CNN on Wednesday. I saw people shouting. The people running the event were crying. It was absolute chaos. There was people walking all over the set at the point. Control had been lost completely. Now, um, the thing about this is... Um, uh, do not blame the actors for this, guys, because the vast majority of the actors were not responsible for this, and the actors actually tried to do their best job. The actors were kind of scammed as well, because the actors were only told about this two days beforehand, and their script was actually written by AI. By AI. That's what they're... St and the pictures that you see a lot of them were also created by AI. So when the one of the actors said that when he read the script, it was basically like gibberish. Um, and I'm going to show you an interview with the actor in a little bit here. Um... On Facebook, organizers House of Illuminati said, Today has been a stressful and frustrating day for many, and for that we are truly sorry. So these, this, these are the guys who basically had um, were responsible for this event. This is an event um, gone wrong, another post said, The House of Illuminati will not be holding any other event in the foreseeable future. House of Illuminati had promoted the event with an extravagant website filled with fantastical images and long de descriptions of an e enchanted garden, imagination lab, and a twilight tunnel. And I'm going to show you their website in a little bit, but their website is extremely misleading. Um, the 15-page script Connell was given the day before said there there were all these special effects. When, when he asked the organizers for more information, they kept saying, don't worry about it, do whatever you want, we'll sort it out on the day. Yeah, that's not a good sign already. When he showed up the next day, however, the warehouse was still pretty much empty except for a few plastic mushrooms far removed from what had been promoted. 
And this is a picture of what the kids were given. Each child was given a quarter of a cup of lemonade and one or two jelly beans. And the kids started crying during this, this event too. The kids were expecting so much more. And the parents were misled. The parents were taking their kids. They, they fought to like an interactive chocolate factory experience. Now, I didn't see the the new Willy Wonka movie, but I did see the 1970s movie um, when I was a kid. And I actually did really like that one. But yeah, you know, imagine you know, taking your kid to this event, uh, you know, thinking that it's going to be, you know, a amazing experience you know going into this you know this event where there's me people wearing costumes it's going to be you know similar to the um to the actual chocolate factory that you see in the movies but instead you get taken to some dirty warehouse um that's just creepy in general too um so i feel really bad for the kids and i will tell you though that a lot of scams um uh, typically target the elderly but this targeted kids that's what's so disgusting about this. this. This is a scam that I've seen that specifically targeted kids. And in all my time that I, I've seen, I have seen so many scams out there online. I've seen everything from gift card scams, IRS scams, um, uh, you know, investment scams, romance scams. You go down the list. There's so many. I've, I've even seen scams in real life, like mechanic scams, where the mechanic will basically try to rip you off. And I know that uh, there's a mechanic who tried to scam my father because we took it to um, uh, the same car to uh, my friend's shop. And my friend's shop, basically, it was a bit farther away, 20 minutes from our house. This, the original mechanic we went to was closer. But my friend's shop basically had fixed up the exact same car. Um, it was and told us that there were all these extra problems the mechanic was talking about weren't there. So we paid a lot less. Uh, than what that first mechanic wanted. So I've seen all these different range of scams, but the point that I'm getting at is that the vast majority of scams that I have personally seen typically target elderly people. That's why when you guys see those videos of just me talking to the scammers, when I talk like this, hello, hello, how are you, how are you? The reason I talk like that and I do that like, you know, old person's voice is so that the scammers keep talking to me because if the scammers hear that I'm a young person, they're more likely to hang up on me thinking that they won't trick me. Scammers typically target elderly people because they know elderly people are vulnerable. Uh, they know elderly people don't know technology that well and so they're much more vulnerable to stuff. But this is something else. This is a scam where I've seen where they target children, children. Just disgusting. I just feel so bad for the kids. Um, Jack Proctor and his family were among those attending the experience, and they arrived once the event had been open for a couple of hours, he told CNN on Wednesday. We were met by groups of families leaving the event, looking utterly bewildered, he said. We were directed upstairs and arrived at a large makeshift prop of gate, saying Factory A, partition blocked our view, but we could still tell it was going to be good. It was even worse than anticipated. It took Proctor and his family three minutes to see the entirety of the experience, for which he had paid a total of 95 pounds, he added, and they left shortly afterwards as security were turning people away. Two Oompa Loompas were handing out candy. Each kid got a jelly bean and a, a lollipop. The adults were told not to touch the sweets. Videos posted on social media showed a figure in a cloak and a mask emerging from behind a mirror with children watching on and shouting incredibly horrified. Almost every child who saw him ran off crying, Proctor said. So let me show you guys this. This is that figure. That figure that the kids were getting scared of. This is it. Look at this. Oh my God. What is that? It's the end of... It's the end of Honestly, I don't know what the hell this is. Um, uh, I don't think this is an actual Willy Wonka character because I don't remember any, you know, creepy figure wearing some, like, black robes just, like, hiding behind something in the movies. But if, if anybody knows, let me know in the comments. Is this, like, an actual Willy Wonka character? I don't think that there is. I can't remember one that's actually like this, but... Whoever thought this was like a part of the exhibit, so this was apparently like a um, a figure that like hides in the walls in like the factory, you know, I don't know what the purpose of this is exactly. This was scaring the crap of the kids. The kids were actually crying when they actually saw this guy. They were actually very uncomfortable. Kids really didn't like this. So I don't know who came up with this figure, why they thought this was a good idea, but... Um, Police um, uh, swapped stories on Facebook, groups set up by those who were left disappointed. One person said their children had received two jelly beans and a quarter of a can of limeade. Another said uh, that their two kids actually had fun. Um, uh, uh, bless them, they're easily pleased. Yeah, so there was, a, I guess there was a couple kids that had some fun. Um, the warehouse is almost empty. Yeah, so this is what you see. This, this is supposed to be Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Look at this. Um, the actors were mortified by the whole thing, Connell said, and trying to make it as nice experience as possible, but the person running the event said I was spending too much time with the kids and I needed 
to move um, uh, them through as quick as possible. So this the, the actor, I think this is the guy who was playing as Willy Wonka. The actor actually, the guy who was playing as Willy Wonka, he actually tried his best. So, you know, don't blame him. I'm going to show him in a little bit. But he did try his best, and he was actually, um, you know, attempting to interact with the kids a lot, trying to make, cheer the kids up. Uh, uh, he felt really bad for the kids as well. Like I said, the actors were only told about this, you know, two days beforehand. They were given a script by AI. So the actors were actually tricked into this whole thing as well. Um, and I don't know if the actors had actually gotten paid. Um, uh, this is this is the guy who actually played as Willy Wonka, by the way. Um, Feel for let's play this here. Bought tickets to this event. Um, people who are expecting a magical chocolate experience uh, and got me in a top hat in a dirty warehouse in Glasgow. Um, people who wanted Timothy Chalamet and got Timothy Charlatan. So the first red flag for me was when I was cast as Willy Wonka. Um, Anyone who looks at me and thinks Willy Wonka and not Umpa Lumpa is out of their mind. I give off major Umpa Lumpa energy, um, but not like a good Umpa Lumpa, not like one of the, like like one that's at the back during the dance numbers, like falling over like your aunt at a line dancing class on holiday. But one of my favorite lines was, "There is a man who lives here. His name is not known, so we call him the Unknown." The unknown is an evil chocolate maker who lives in the walls. What? <laughs> what? What is an evil chocolate maker for a start? Is it? A, does he make evil chocolate, or is he an evil man who makes chocolate? And what do you mean he lives in the walls? <laughs> so I had to perform that line with uh, with with gusto and 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 validity, um, and that was that was a challenge as as an actor. And I, I really hope that that everyone gets the the refunds that they deserve. Um, it was it was an absolute mess, um, and the fact that I was a part of it uh is is one of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me rightfully so people were furious they were shouting there was people filming things on their phone uh there was there was things being broken yeah so yeah so here we got another video look at this This was a chocolate factory. So uh, apparently the people are all getting full refunds, which the reason the reason that the people are probably giving full refunds is so that they're scared about the people possibly taking legal action um, for false advertising to this um, uh, to this House of Illuminati thing. Um, do you hear we got one more video also here? Yes, I'll you, take a look at this. Full of scary face. Oh my God. Scare the great unknown. Wonderful. I love going home. Fantastic. What? What was that? Why did he do that? I'm not joking. I paid forty pound a ticket for this. Smallest bouncy castle in the world, and I bet we have to pay for that food over there. Uh, these are like um, the photo bits there. This oh. is this is your chocolate factory. Waste of money. Is that smoke? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's smoke or what that I don't know if that's smoke or what that is. So this is what I was saying is that this is one of the girls who was playing the Oompa Loompas, um some of the actors did try, 
and did try to cheer up the kids. So, like I said, don't blame the actors, the people that are responsible is House of Illuminati. Small spicy castle in the Red Elves. So this is the guy that we saw earlier, the guy who was playing as, as Willy Wonka. He did try his best. To film your reactions for the Willy That was making it into the commercial. Would you like a photograph? Come on over to the table. Do you think you can eat one of these? Ready, set next to Mr. Wonka. You don't think you can eat one? Do you think you can eat one? Yes, of course you can. that is at the end there's so a lunch thing or what that is but um uh yeah so this guy was trying his best he was taking pictures with the kids he was trying you know he's trying to be um uh you know entertaining for the kids and the according to him the managers of the thing were rushing him telling him he's spending too much time with the kids and he should be trying to rush them out as much as possible just so more kids can come in and more kids can buy tickets it's just so scummy um and take a look at this one guys um uh this one this one, you guys, this is the, the picture that people are going to meme the hell out of. So this is um, another actress who's playing one of the Oompa Loompas. And this is apparently their candy display. But honestly speaking, um, uh, when I look at something like this, like uh, she doesn't appear to be too happy. But when I look at something like this, you, like if, if you told me that this was a Willy Wonka like, you know, impression, I would not have believed you beforehand. Um, uh, I literally... Honestly speaking, you know, maybe I'm just watching too many crime shows and stuff like that. But when I look at something like this, you know what I think? I think this is a meth lab. Like, like literally, that, that is literally what I think of when I look at something like this. This honestly looks like a meth lab to me. Um, this does not look like, you know, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Nothing like that at all. And then lastly here, this is the website. Um, I am honestly surprised this website has not been taken down yet. Um, but, you know, if we try to book, you know, not found. <laughs> Um, uh, tickets to, uh, Willy, a uh, chocolate express are on sale, indulge in chocolate fantasy like never before, captured in, in enchantment, so AI were the ones who made these photos, um, welcome to Willy's chocolate experience, dive into the uh, skull of Willy's chocolate ex experience, a place where chocolate dreams become reality, book your adventure now and embark on a jury, jury um, uh, filled with wondrous creations and enchanting supplies at every turn, so yeah, so parents see images like this, and they're going to think that the event is actually going to be a lot of fun. Enchanted Garden. Your journey begins in an enchanted garden with giant sweets, vibrant blooms, mysterious looking sculptures, and magical surprises that add to the extra layer of wonder to your chocolate chocolatey experience. Navigate through peculiar um, uh, but enchanted garden, collecting delicious beans of all colors, shapes, and sizes. Who knows, perhaps you might be able to grow your very own enchanted garden. And about the beans is the kids only got one or two jelly beans. That's really what they got, so already telling um that they could uh collect beads of all color shapes and sizes nope that did not happen you see any kind of guarded like that false advertising imagination lab in imagination lab prepare to be captivated by a visual spectacle and shutter mind expanding a project uh, projections optical marvels and exhibits that transport you into the realm of creativity this space invites you on a surreal journey where the boundaries between reality and fantasy harmoniously um Merge, re resulting in an enchanting and visually striking encounter. Brace yourself for an adventure that will leave you spellbound. What the? Twilight Tunnel. In the Twilight Tunnel, get ready for an exhilarating and immersive adventure. Journey through a dis um, uh, dimly lit passage adorned with captivating projections and enigmatic sounds and surprising turns that will immerse you in suspense and excitement. It's heart-pounding experience you'll never uh, experienced before. So yeah, so... I'm gonna stop reading this because there's just so much of this, but look at this. Um, oh, this, oh, there's still one more. Um, but as you see, there is um, 
there it, none of this stuff actually was there that that they had claimed um you know february 24th is when it happened you know 45 minutes to an hour um info when we click on info this is all the info that we get just the location and um box hub warehouse location uh facts what can I expect from Willie's Chocolate Experience? Step in the magical realm of Willie's Chocolate Experience, the universe where confectionery dreams are brought to life. Explore an array of themed rooms like the Enchanted Garden and the Vision Room and Lemonade Gallery, each offering unique and delightful surprises. Not only will you witness the magic of chocolate, but you'll also have the chance to taste it. Prepare for a journey filled with delicious treats, enchanting adventures, and moments worth capturing. Be sure to get your tickets for this extraordinary experience. What does the ticket include? General admission includes entry to the experience for any person four um, plus a years old. Family ticket includes any entry to the experience for two adults and two children. Um, car carer's ticket includes entry to the experience for one person and one carer and allows fast access to the experience. Blueprint um, uh, blue light discount. We operate a blue light scheme for members of the NHS and public service workers. When booking tickets, please enter your code BL24 for 10% discount to be applied. You'll be asked to produce your card and our work-related identification card on arrival to Willie's Chocolate Experience. Blue light discount um, cannot be applied to any promotional ticket offers. So none of this is, um, none of this happened. Um, let's see here. Uh, so this is what they were rushing kids. We may ask you to wait a bit if they're over capacity. So they were just basically trying to rush the kids out just to get as much money as possible. Was the refund exchange policy? This should be good. Tickets are not refundable. Oh, the terms and conditions of non-refundable tickets are agreed upon prior to purchase. In a special circumstance, we can help you change your ticket for another day and session that is not yet sold. Uh, currently, the available dates are the, those that you can see on our website. Um, uh, is, is the, however, the Chocolate Factory is magical. Some more sessions may be available in the future. Yeah, it was really magical. What is the refund exchange policy? Tickets are not refundable. The terms and conditions of non-refundable tickets are agreed upon. Blah, blah, blah. Um, uh... The experience we held in an indoor venue is in a suitable environment for children. The event, event contains some interactions that may be un, un, unsuitable for children under five years old. However, we recommend guidance. Children three and under do not require a ticket. Oh, man. So it's, um, so literally, this entire thing is just so, so sketchy. There is literally all these AI photos. I mean, my God, and the kids that were all tricked into stuff like this. It's just disgusting. Like I said, it's, I, I, most scams that I've seen target adults, but this is the first scam that I've ever seen that targets children specifically. And it's just horrible. Disgusting. It's something that people are going to meme about. But um, yeah, this is... Um, I honestly do not know what they were thinking. You know, Imagine taking your child to this experience, thinking that you're going to give them a Willy Wonka you know, interactive chocolate factory experience, but it turns out to be some dirty, dark warehouse. And instead of getting your know, chocolate, you know, treats, um, uh, your kid gets, you know, one or two jelly beans and a, you know, quarter of a cup of lemonade. That's it. And you're constantly getting rushed out. Um, and then you see, you know, stuff like this. Um, and my God, couldn't they have at least put a picture up back here? Just put this black tarp instead. Um, it's just, my God, the, the, the whole thing is just, um, is this stupid dumb but let me know what you guys think honestly when i was when i was looking at this at first i thought this was a fake i thought this was like a parody or something like that like it was onion but no apparently this is all real so let me know what you guys think down below and again i will have a review on this awesome chair in a couple days so just be patient with me um but thank you guys for watching um if you guys enjoyed the video do drop a like let me know what you think down below and i'll see you in the next one take care everyone have a wonderful day guys